uh, get your drinks, get some water, uh, because oh, it, I'm, I drink it's gonna be a slugfest. Like it's 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 gonna like those two teams like to go at it, and uh, they do. You know, as you said, Knuckles and Amazon love to scrap. Uh, Rix and Kinzo too. <laughs> like, they do. They, they do not oh. care about you know letting them. The and I think Kinzo may be the scrappiest Falco. Oh so yeah. Walk this up. Oh so. yes. <laughs> Scrappy, fast, yeah, you know, deadly. Just and interestingly, I would say, like, I don't think Marth is the scrappiest character. No. Marth likes the setups, likes the, uh, likes things to sort of be more predictable. They like Fox's role within Marth and Fox is to help kind of reduce the scramble, reduce mm -hmm. the chaos, right, right, Leave that to him, so that Marth can just consistently get like the strongest com uh, combos that Marth has. So, yeah, so yeah, you this, this see the Mars be in like the stock tanks for sure. Yeah, mm. and yes. I mean, like, yeah. I was listening to um, Nikki and uh, and um, Pipsqueak talk when they were facing, I think, like Rix and Kinzo, uh, or no, and when they were facing Knuckles and Amsa, and they were like, like, uh, Nikki was like, let's not go into the corner because Knuckles is a very like uh, aerial with heavy Mars, like he likes to to swing. And yes. he will he, he will end your stock at zero if he has to, and um, I think the, I think that team needs to be really careful of like knuckles and of knuckles in the corner because he he's that kind of mouse that can like that can definitely end your life very very quickly. Uh, it gotta be. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like a moth requirement. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. It's on your business card. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely on the resume. Right, right now he's trying to do it with Kinzo. Yeah, it's on the resume, but it's like when you put like I'm proficient in Microsoft Word. It's like you, you expect <laughs> it to be there. <laughs> Rick's Kinzo are kind of running them over right now. It's it's yeah. looking rough. Uh, yeah. Let's say. Oh. Okay. We'll yeah, yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. Not much you can do there. Yeah. Yeah, this is a tough team for them. Yeah. But the first game, like as we said, the first game of doubles is, is like a lot of data. Uh, you just gotta take what you can. It's very scrappy at first because you can't, like, you don't know yep. much, so you right. have to, you just have to guess what's gonna happen, and then it's gonna get better. I, I yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna be a three zero, honestly. Like I would be surprised no. if it was a three zero. The, I yeah, you're completely right. Like not to not to get so absorbed in the first game and just mm. let it decide what the thing for the rest would be. But I will say that was also a very quick game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the other team had time to really process what it was they were doing wrong. Yeah. They might need another. Yeah, true. I'm going to throw out a calling. prediction. I think it's game three that we're going to see Armstrong and Knuckles take one. Oh, gotcha. okay. But I'm, I'm, calling, I'm calling Yoshi's. I'm calling Yoshi's. Yoshi's? That's a I scrappy stage. I don't think they want to take Rix and Kins over Yoshi's. <laughs> they've, got, they've got Martha, so... Um, yeah. They got Falco though. They got Falco? Fire is pretty good I mean, it's, it's doubles, but also the, the meta oh, is man. like you take Mars to Yoshi's now. Um, true. Yeah, that's true. Oh. oh no, okay. that was very unfortunate. Ooh. Fox is good. Is a... Oh. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh, oh my wow. god. Yeah, oh yeah, my god. It's go it goes nice. Yeah. yeah. Kendall's looking madly. Yeah, that box doesn't have water damage for sure. Uh, like, <laughs> oh my god. You can see the difference. Oh no! no! Just as we say it. Come on. <laughs> as, as like, it's, it's seeming like uh, like Arms has just been draining the stocks of Kinzo with, with these shines, but <laughs> but Rix hasn't lost any stocks yet. He's been holding on really well. Yeah, and he's still taking stocks. Yeah. Just as we did, just as you did. It's crazy. It's only one minute, and it's already like it's six, seven stocks taken. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those games are, are scrappy. I think this is one of the reasons why this team is so good. It's just that you never expect the really hyper aggressive controlling Falco and Fox playing the support. Mm. I think that's how they it's play. Very true. <clears throat> yeah, but like you were saying earlier, Fox can play any role they want, right? So yeah. Yeah. So. Lots of options. Yeah, the possibilities. Not, not what you usually see. Yeah, Alright. kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> actually insane. 
Yeah, you don't really have time to think uh, when you have Kinzo in front of you. Like, you just have to act. Uh, if you yeah. take too much time to think, your stock will be gone. And uh, the game will be over probably at that point. There's pressure to bring control, yeah. on the corner, yeah. <laughs> it's just... Well, oh, I'm... I love oh, what Namsa no. tried to do, just try to trade, but unfortunately it's not going to be enough. Yeah, like Amza had the right call, but yeah. not finishing off Ricks. Letting Ricks take both of them out could could be a pretty pretty crucial. No. Oh. Now Amza, like 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 the last set, like Amza and Knuckles really need that stock. Like either Amza's stock or Knuckles' stock to stay alive as much as possible. Because um, we saw how destructive that green team can be. Yeah, this is like the this is these are the interesting percents as well. Like because Armza has one extra stock, but if this happens, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, That's if you kill thing. both at the same time, like. Yeah, it's like okay, you had you had a whole stock lead, but you've now got to beat two of us. All Armza beats is one up smash here. One up smash. Yeah, Amsa's <laughs> Fox is really good, but in two v one, uh, he can he can definitely get overwhelmed by those two by those up tilts, especially. Two as well. They're so quick. <laughs> as with with Fox as support, he's all he always has time to like rush in and interrupt. If it's looking if it's looking shaky, then he can just run in and shine. Oh, wow, that was pretty well done. Wow, <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. Okay. Um, two o. It was looking pretty good for uh, Knuckles and Umza and then just mm -hmm. the yeah. tornado that is... They definitely did adapt, team. like undeniably, yeah. they did adapt. For sure. Um, yeah. But not enough, it seems. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they, there's the game three. They really got to find something. Yeah, I hope to take a little bit of a breather right now or not. No breathers. Never mind. Rick's Kings are just making this, try to make this the quickest doubles bracket of all time. Like, yeah, these players yeah. don't breathe. That's the takeaway here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Knuckles is like, I gotta, I gotta turn him into TO. Let's, let's get this <laughs> over with. <laughs> oh my god, they're just doing 1v1s. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Ooh, Knuckles possible good edge guard. Oh, and the oh, it's unfortunate. unfortunate. Yeah. It's kind of almost like uh, green team aren't really letting the red team do any teams like stuff. You know, they're just yeah. totally overwhelming them. Yeah, yeah they're, they're playing their game for sure. Yeah. Also, they're very happy to, as you as you mentioned, they're very happy to take like one v ones because they're like, if we manage to split them up, like one v ones, we're mostly gonna win them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because Amsa is not playing, you know, his main. Even though it's Fox is really good, it's even better in in doubles like situation. Um, mm. And and Knuckles is a, a little bit under, like the, the level is just a little bit uh, under. Yeah. Um, so in one v one situation, especially as Mars in doubles, it's gonna be a bit bit harder to get those yeah. uh, to 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 work out. I mean, it's like I haven't seen a lot of uh, zero or like team kills to death from no. uh, Kinzo's team. Like, it feels like they really just, they just confidently do damage and then just trust themselves that they will get the straight hits required. Right. Yeah, it seems like they don't have to do that, which is uh, yeah. it's just scary for Knuckles and uh, I'm so honestly. Yeah, and I think it makes their teamwork like more consistent. Like they're not they're not going for for kills that require both of them to have like amazing communication. Mm. They just stay within each other's space, trust each other not to hit each other. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's very true. It's hard not to eat each other very much when you like have such mm. good characters, but they've been doing a great job at it. Uh, yeah. they, they, they're like air control and how they yeah how they control the ground etc. It's just so clean. Uh, yeah, you don't really have to think about that too much. Oh my god. <laughs> It gives us nuts. Right. Yeah, and that, that's a tall order. That's yeah. it. Wow. <laughs> a little cheeky dare at the end there by Kinza. Yeah. That's also uh, like in doubles, the first thing to sort of slip once you start being stressed is that communication with each other. Yeah. I noticed there was like, I think it was like one or two times, which I think made a big difference where uh, Knuckles got a grab, answer was right there, but then didn't hold on or didn't throw into him. At the very least, the communication broke down, went for the wrong option, that just kind of threw answer off. Right. Something like, which happens all the time. As soon as you get stressed, you start to like not trust 
you know, and you don't trust your teammates to do exactly the right thing that you think right. they're going to do, you know, it's, 